Welcome back, guys. Babes. Hey, babes. It's your girl, Tavia Denise, and I'm back with a live Q&A video for you guys. I wrote down questions because I don't know where my other phone is. That damn baby of mine. Whew, I tell you. But anyways, so I wrote down questions. I'm shuffling them and I'm picking whichever question that, you know, thrown out to me. So let's get into it. <laughs> Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell button whenever you want to see me post. Okay, so let's get it. So now I wrote the questions down because your girl don't know where her other phone is. So, oops. Well, I guess this might be the lucky one. So let me see. So the first question is, are you single? <laughs> I know something you don't. Uh, I wouldn't say single, but you know how things be. So yeah. Next question. Let's see what he says. How did you find out you were pregnant, baby? I didn't even know I was pregnant. I just so happened to get off work. And I was like, well, let me go take a pregnancy test. And it wasn't even time for me to come on my period. I just said, let me go take a pregnancy test. So I went to Walmart, pee on this stick, and guess what? It said, doop, doop. And I was like, damn, my mama had woke up. And like, I just left the house because I was not prepared to tell her that I was a fucking mother. Okay, so yeah, that's how I found out. Next question. So this question is, what made you start a YouTube channel? Um, I just always wanted to start a YouTube channel. I just didn't have the tools i didn't have the resources i didn't know what i was doing i had uploaded a video like i was discouraged because i didn't get any views i didn't know nothing about thumbnails or nothing so one day i was just sitting on the couch and i'm like let me just figure out some ways to you know enhance my social media and stuff like that so i was like well let me start a youtube channel it's just really just done on me like to just get up and start like i had the research on how to make intro videos outro videos what um editing sites to use etc etc and baby i started and i can't stop like i'm like i'll be at work i just be thinking of like content 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 i be asking people like uh, what should I do? What should I say? Like, ask me questions. Like, ask me anything. Like, you know, like, you have people around you that motivate you and get you going. Like, make sure, like, oh, you can do this, you can do that. You know, they're the people that you need to be around. They're the people that you need to surround yourself around. Because starting a YouTube channel is not for the week. Like, I promise you, like, it takes hours of editing. The perfect music, perfect lighting, all this, all the above, really. But that's what made me start a YouTube channel. Like, I just wanted to progress all social media platforms and just get out there and just get the going. It say, where are you from? Baby, if you don't know by now, if you don't hear it in my accent, baby, I am from Memphis, Tennessee, born and raised, ripped them motherfucking grizzlies, you know. But for real though, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, born and raised, have been nowhere else but Memphis, Tennessee. I would like to move to another state, but this is another question. Also, the grizzlies going to championships this year, so whatever you all got to say don't even say it because they going to championship okay it says what do you do outside of work well like i said earlier 
I think of ways to get money. Like, if it ain't about the money, I don't know what the fuck is we doing. Like, it's always about the money. Like, I'm always thinking of ways how to get money. I'm looking up content. Um watching videos i'm trying out stuff you know trial and error you know but i'm getting to the money like i'm thinking of ways to get money like i even took a break on going out as much as i used to because i'm thinking of ways of like of getting money if it ain't about the money then what is we doing simple it says what is your craziest life experience Ooh, i have a lot of crazy stories but not to get y'all in deep in my business, I'm gonna keep it PG. Anyways, so my craziest life experience is losing my boyfriend back in 2018. That was the darkest place of my entire life. Like it was so dark. Like it was so dark. Like I used to lock myself in a room. I used to cry all day long it got to the point where i would be out with my friends and i was just bust out crying i won't be high i won't be drunk but i would like literally like cry and like it'll be to the point you'd be like why am i crying but it's just like you can't help it so like he was good to me i was good to him no cheating no scandalous no nothing it was like the perfect time everything and like he died in a car accident and it took me a while to get over him like to put in my mind like he's gone but yeah this is like the most craziest life experience i ever like dealt with in my entire life and at that time i was like 19 one on 20 yeah it says, what are your hobbies? My hobbies are going to sleep, waking back up, getting to the money, and thinking of content. Like, that's all I do, like, on a 24 basis. Like, I'm on the internet, I'm shopping, looking for stuff, you know, trying to get myself together, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm thinking of ways to get to the money. This is it. This all, this all I talk about is the money. Where is the money? What's not clicking, Steven? It says, what's your favorite food? Baby, chicken. I love me a 10 piece honey hot with the seasoned fries and the ranch. And I know how y'all folks from Atlanta like to come for Memphis people, but baby, Memphis got the best wings. So don't even play like Memphis ain't got the best wing because you know Memphis got the best wing. And if you didn't know, you need to bring your ass down here and taste them. Because, baby, fine. I can taste some of them. Baby, matter of fact, I'm going to order me some right now. Because, baby, chicken and a little celery. Yup, I'm the fat bitch that like to eat the celery at the wings. Sure do. It says, what was the longest relationship you were in? Um, I was seeing a three year relationship. That's the longest I've ever been in a relationship. And like, I try to learn, like, can't just break up one time to get hard. But, baby, I be like, I be ready to go. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't even fake the foot. I be ready to go. Like, yeah. This is the last question. And it says, Is your ass real? Sue. Come on now, Sue. Not Sue. I'm from Memphis 10, the Dirty South, as y'all like to call it. Baby, this ass is cornbread, collard green fed. Do you hear me? Not to knock the girls who got their ass done, but this ass always been big my entire life. No matter what size I was, baby, I always had a little booty. So, babes, that's the end of my Q&A. If you want to know anything else about me, you can ask me in my email. You can ask me in my Instagram. And you can also leave a comment and ask me whatever you want to ask me. But until then, babes, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also press that bell button whenever you want to see me pop up in your notifications. Bye-bye.